Hi and welcome to my OCR AA level biology revision session with me Christine. So today's lesson I want to look at the effects of hormones and nervous mechanisms on your heart rate. So let's just remind ourselves about the medulla oblongata then. So the medulla oblongata is a part of the brain which is located just at the bottom and I've identified it in purple here. Now the medulla oblongata is about regulating your autonomic nervous system and it does that by controlling the reflex activities such as your breathing rate and your heart rate. Now we're going to focus on the heart rate in today's lesson but it does do other things like swallowing, peristalsis, coughing but what we're interested in in what actually happens with the heart rate. So you should know that you have got your sinoatrial node which is located in your right atrium. That sinoatrial node is going to send electrical impulses across the atria causing the atria to contract at the same time, atrial systole. That impulse then is sent onto the atrial ventricular node, the AVN, and it will then be passed down through the bundle of His, the Purkinje fibres and the conducting fibres for the heart to contract from the apex, squeezing the blood out of the ventricles into the arteries. So we know that we have electrical impulses and we know that our sinoatrial node is our pacemaker and that this is myogenic because it's cardiac muscle, it therefore is self-excitatory. So that SEN is going to send the electrical impulses on its own. Well, what we're interested in is how do we actually coordinate for the impulses from the SEN to either increase the frequency or decrease the frequency? And this is where we need to understand that our sensory receptors are involved. So there are two sensory receptors we need to talk about. Our baroreceptors, which are to do with pressure, so they are a type of mechanoreceptor, and our chemoreceptors. So baroreceptors detect your changes in your blood pressure and your chemoreceptors detect your change in your blood pH. So what's going to happen then is we know that our cardiac output is our heart rate times our stroke volume. We learned that in module three, transporting animals. We know we've got our SCN, we've got our AVN, and we know that we have these receptors which are located in our carotid arteries as well as our aortic arch. So these are constantly monitoring, they're sensing the blood pressure and the blood pH. Well, what happens is if there's any type of deviation, what's going to happen is that impulse is going to be sent from the sensory receptor down the sensory neuron to the medulla oblongata. That will then be passed on to the sympathetic nerve, which is then going to send the impulse down to the sinoatrial node. Now we call this the sympathetic stimulation. What's going to happen? Well, if there is an impulse that's sent down the sympathetic nerve, that is going to signal for an increase in the frequency of the heartbeat. Not only does it signal that, what it's going to signal is an increase in the frequency of the impulses from the sinoatrial node. So by increasing the frequency of the impulse across the sinoatrial node, across the atria, that is then going to cause atrial systole to happen at a faster rate. It also delays the, shortens the delay between the sinoatrial node and the atrioventricular node. We normally want there to be a longer delay because we want to ensure that the atria completely empty before the ventricles completely filled before it contracts and the blood is squeezed out. But if we're increasing the frequency of the heartbeat, we need to not only increase the frequency of the impulse from the SEN, we need to shorten that delay between the SEN and AVN. That's going to also result in an increased force of contraction. We're gonna supply more blood to the heart. Why, what is all these things doing? We're wanting to get the blood circulating around the body at a faster rate, either because we need to provide more glucose and oxygen to our muscles that are respiring, 
or we need to actually slow it down if the pressure goes in the wrong direction. And if that's the case, then we actually activate what's known as the parasympathetic nerve. So if we want to slow the frequency of the SEN, sending the impulses, then we would therefore activate the parasympathetic nervous system because that is the part which is about relaxation. So when you go to sleep, your parasympathetic nerve is going to slow your heart rate down. And when you're doing activity or when you've got your fight or flight response, that is when the sympathetic nervous system is kicking in. Now, the other thing we have to remember is that it's not just about the nervous impulses that are going to be sent down the sympathetic nervous system and actually increasing that sinoatrial node, our hormonal system is involved as well. So we know that adrenaline is going to be released from the medulla of the adrenal gland. We know that the adrenaline can bind to the receptor. Now this receptor is this time at the sinoatrial node. And what's going to happen is that's going to activate adenylene cyclase. That will therefore result in ATP being converted into cyclic AMP, which is going to activate enzymes, which are known as protein kinases. Now, these protein kinases, what they're going to do is they are going to increase the impulses that are sent across the atria from the sinoatrial node. So we're going to increase that heart rate by having a higher frequency of impulses from the sinoatrial nodes. And we're also going to increase the blood pressure by having a greater stroke volume. So it's really important that we note that it is both our nervous system and our hormonal system and how they both have an effect on increasing the rate at which our heart rate is going to send those frequency of impulses across from the sinoatrial node to the atria and then passing that impulse on to the atrioventricular node. So I hope you've liked this video and if you have then please do click on the like button and subscribe to my channel and if you haven't already done so please do check out my revision platform www.aiqchat.com.